everyone and welcome to the first clip in my April unboxing haul thing. Um, that's technically 1023, you can't see that, but it's 1023 on the last day of March, March 31st. Um, but this is a big haul, so I'm going to um, just put it in April. Um, and I got one. I wasn't expecting any more packages this month. Um, but I, quick story time, uh, went to my like parcel pending locker and I knew that this box arrived from Sub K and I opened the parcel. I had two parcels and I opened the parcel and this one had arrived and I was like, oh cool. Then the second one has my Sub K. Well, when I pulled this box out, this box was behind it. And so I was like, what is in the second one and I pulled up this bottom box so I'm gonna go through um, probably the bottom box first because it is the one one of the ones I'm most excited about so let's go ahead and get these out of the way here <clears throat> I'm gonna open it upside down because of address and things Um, so this box is from Weavers, and it is something that I ordered back in July, and they finally shipped, and it finally arrived. So that's something really exciting. Um, so yeah, here is this box here. Okay, so this is my BTS ARMY membership box. Here we go. Um, this is my little, I've never had a membership card before, so that's really exciting. Let me take it out. It's my membership card here. Oh, you can't see it, hold on. Hello. There it is, okay. This is mine, there's my name here, Haley B. Um, and this is my membership card. I've never had one before, so this is the back. Um, I bought my membership back in July. I'm going to leave this out while I open this box. Um, and they didn't ship it out till recently, but I bought this, um, and you don't have to get the, like, physical box. You can just have... The membership but I wanted the physical box because I've never gotten one before and I've seen people unbox them and I thought they were cool so I wanted one I don't even remember all the stuff that comes in here because it's been so long but here is the oh yeah so this is just the outer box for it this is the first thing so it came with this like magazine holder this like BTS there's two of them, so there's a gray one, a magazine holder, and a blue one. And then all this other stuff is in here as well. So let's kind of take it out. So there's those two. And then they're all in this bag. It is this, which is a poster, I think. Yep. They're in an office. Very nice. Very cute. Oh, you can't see Shuka. There they are. Very cute. I like the way it smells. And then there is this photo book here. Let's see if I can zoom in on it here. Okay, let's move this bag out of the way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go through this a little bit fast. Here's the resumes for each. Remember, there's hair. Sorry, my hair is literally everywhere. Um, tomorrow is my last day of school before spring break, so I'm feeling a little like a little like overtired and a little giddy. There's the interview waiting room. 
Um, at the same time, so I'm in like a kind of a weird in-between mood. He looks so nervous. So funny. Jungu with his blonde hair. I don't like that like style of it. It's not my fave. Here's the acceptance letters. Desk decoration. For each member. Leaders to career. These pages are really like equal parts thin and equal parts not thin photo paper at the same time. This is quite the thick photo book. Two. I like this style a little better, like the side part instead of the middle part. Apparently once Jungle gets the job, he's like a different guy. That's the what? The ghost leg. Um, behind the scene photos. Cute. Jin can't figure out how to work the copier. Same dude, same. Apparently they can smell fear and secret emails. Which is like their thanks twos, I guess. Log out. Okay, very cute. And then, what else is in this bag here? There's lots of things. I'll get some of these up here. Is this a random member? I got Shuga's user guide. I didn't know they did random member for your membership. Um, I forgot Beyond the Scene was their name now. These are like little keyboard stickers. That's so funny. I should put these on my keyboard. Um, and then we have this, which is, oh, what's this? ID photos. There's a sticker on this. Okay, hold on. So ID photos. There's RM. Jin, Yungi, Hobi, Jimin, V, and Jungu. Okay, cute. And this is the, this is like a little memo pad thing. A to-do memo pad. It says... BTS Global Official Fan Club Army Membership. And then it's got like a thing here and it says date and number. So they're all the same, all the pages. And then this is like a set of photos. Oh, I already see it's already cute. Okay. Ah. Okay. So we have RM. The backs look like this. Jin. This peace sign. Their, co their corners are pointy now. Shuga. Usually their like concert cards are like rounded edges. J Hopi. You, I'm gonna quick show you these other ones again because they were a little blurry before. Hobi. Jimin. V. And Jungu. And that is everything that came in this package. Hi everyone, and I'm going to continue where I left off yesterday. Um, so I started opening the, bo the a box yesterday, and I didn't finish. And I think I was only on box two. So this was all that came in box two. Oop, let me put it down more. So I got these three things. So the first thing I got, I'm going to open first. It was, oopsies, was this, was the um, semantic error photo essay book. 
Um, and I don't usually get these for dramas, but I'm so obsessed with this drama. Like, this drama was so good. So let me take out the thingies. And I'm going to quickly go flip through this here. Um, their signatures. This drama is only what, eight episodes long, but this book is like almost scene by scene. Like it's like ex in intense. Like this is the first episode where they first meet each other for the first time, and he like sort of threatens him, and then he gets to school and realizes that there's none of his drinks left. And he's wearing red, which is his least favorite color. He took his spot in the classroom. Forced himself to eat lunch with him. This is like a little, like, versus scene that they did, which was very cute. This is him in his one class that's not with Sung Chu. Oh, there they are again together. This is the next morning. He's like... Fell asleep in his spot because he got there so early. He drew on his face. So cute. I also love this because they get the like the progression of them like kind of like getting annoyed with each other and then kind of falling for each other and like realizing, hey, they're not so bad. And they're trapped in the, this is chapter two. They live next to each other. I forgot. I mean, I didn't forget, but like, comes next. Helping him because he got hurt. I love these glasses. Oh, so cute. He's drawing him. They're outside. The leather jacket. Cute, they just had to work together. He fell asleep, tried to draw on his face. He's embarrassed. Talking to his friend, she calls him out. Here's their project they did together. If you didn't watch this drama, these are spoilery, so I'm sorry about that. This is a thick book. We're already at not almost 200 pages. Spoilers coming if you haven't finished the drama. The leather jacket is back.
their like height difference is so funny in this but I w just keep imagining like what would happen if I stood next to them because like J Chen isn't that short of a like of a person in general this is my favorite part because this is the behind the scenes pictures they're so cute Ooh, black and white. I love that. And here's their credits. Okay. And then there's like little text exchanges. So that's really cute. Okay. And then it came with, this is the real reason I bought it. Um, they came with two postcards. So... It's like this cute one of them, and then there's this cute one of them. Very precious. And then it came with some photo cards. And so it came with Park Soham. Both of them together with both their signatures on the back. Another Park Soham. This is Little Dot. And then J Chen. And this cute little thumbs up one. And I think usually when you get these, I don't get these very often, but usually when you get them, I think they come with the same, like, things every time. Like, everyone gets the same four cards, but I'm not sure. And then I got two of these. I wasn't going to get these um, at first, but I saw some unboxings and I really liked them. It's the Winter SM Town SMCU Express. I really wanted to get the just, like, generic, like, every group one. Um... These are some K-pop market on one freebie, so I'll pull, open those real quick. Um, but those were more expensive for some reason, and they sold out really fast. So I just bought the NCT versions. Um, I thought about getting Espa's version because I am going to collect Espa now, but I didn't get it. Maybe if I see it later, I will. Doyoung. Because these are all NCT. Oh no, this is just like a unit of it. So it's Doyoung, Hey Chan. Shotaro, Shajun, Jamin, Yang Yang, Jeno, Jungwoo, and Mark. And then this one is this one is the NCT one two seven one. Whoop! Well, that's not how you open it, but that's how I opened it apparently. Well, whatever. So here's the group. Taeyong, Johnny, Tae, Jaehyun, Yuta, Mark, Hichan, Jungwoo, Doyoung. Okay. And then we're, I got the daytime and the nighttime. So we'll go with the daytime first. Because I didn't buy this at first because I also wasn't sure what the difference was between them. And now I know because the Daytime Pass has the Wavy and um, Dream members plus Shochuro and Sungchan. So I'm going to really quickly flip through because it's one, it's really short and two, there's been so many unboxings of this. So I'm just going to quick flip through this. Here's the CD and the backdrop. Okay. And then it comes with an SM ad and a sticker and you get or a postcard and you get the group postcard. So here's all the members. So it's Kuhn, Jeno, Shoturo, Renjin, Winwin, Sung Chen, Ji Sung, Yang Yang Ten, Jamin. 
Henry, Chenla, and Ten. And then you get a random member poster. And I got the short tail, my Japanese son, Kiwi. Let me put him sideways because I feel like I did him dirty, okay? And then you get an ID card and a member card. And I, my ID card, is Renjun, who's my second dream, my dream bias wrecker. And then you get a photo card. Oh, and I got Sungchen, which is cute because I feel like I don't get a lot of Sungchen things because he's not in a lot of things. So very cute. So there is that one. And then we have the nighttime version, which is the NCT127 version. I'm going to go ahead. I opened all of these things yesterday because I couldn't wait. Um, but my battery died on my... Both batteries were dead on my... That I have for my camera, so I was annoyed. So this is the NCT127 version. I'm going to quick flip through here. Also might have purchased the um, the EXO one if it was more members than just Kai. There's an NCT in here is theirs too. Okay. SM ad postcard. Hyechen Jung Yuta, Taeyul Doyoung, Jaehyun Mark, Johnny Taeyong. Okay, random member, poster. It is Hyechen. It's supposed to go this way, I think. But very cute. Okay. And then my ID card is Taeyul. And my member card is Yuta. Very cute, very cute. Okay, that was it for the second package I got. And then the third package was one I got from um, Sub, Sub K. And there are five albums, but technically four groups because I accidentally ordered two of the same Wanho album. Um, so we're going to go through them quickly. I started with um, AB6's Complete With You, the jewel case version and I picked Donghyun. It was hard for me to choose um only here's the CD ver the CD of it only because I don't really have a bias in here now cuz my bias was young um young men who no longer is a member of the group currently. Um so I didn't really have a preference, but I needed to choose one and you can't just choose random. On sub K you have to like choose a version. So I chose, sorry if you can hear the washer in the background, I did close the door, but, um, so I chose Donghyun because he was my second bias, and then now I kind of get bias wrecked by all of them, so I like that a lot, and then here's the five songs, okay, and then you get a pose card with a message on the back, here is the message, and then it is Donghyun. I think you get member, like, specific, like, for which member you buy. And then you get a little ID card here. And I got Daehui. I always pull Daehui. I mean, 86, I always pull every member, but I pull Daehui probably the most. Well, I pull Woojin probably the most. And then you get a double-sided photo card, and I got Woong. Very cute, very cute. Um... So I didn't actually pull any Woojin this time, which is really funny, because usually I pull him the, the absolute most. Okay. Oh, well, I'll fix that in a little bit. Okay. And then we have Cravity's first album, Part 2, Liberty in Our Cosmos. I think I am going to buy the other two versions eventually, because it's the second part of their first album, and I have all three versions of their first part. But um, this is the Cosmos version, the green version. So all the stuff is in here, but I'm going to 
open it up and I haven't seen many unboxings of this so I'm going to quick kind of flip through it. So this is my second buy, this is my first buy, this is pumpkin. So the big units, so it was set on dongle, one gen, one gen, and mini, so five of them. Okay, oh. and you can see them here. And that's not unit again, and there's everybody. Because the next unit is my favorite because it's Alan. Just because of like the people that are in it. It's Alan and Dongjun. And Taeyong. And Songin. So it's just Alan and the babies. Which is like really funny to me. I don't know why. The shadow is really pretty though. Oops. And then the whole group. And the whole group again. And that's the end. There's that. And I'm gonna take out all my random pulls here. Okay, this is the Lyric booklet, so pull this in. They just go through in age order, all of the members, credits. Here's the root picture, here is the CD. Okay. And then random things. Oopsies. I mean, I've seen it, but I just wanted to make sure you can see it. There is a poster here. I might change out the poster I have of them on my wall for this one because it's really cute. Um, but this is basically the picture of it. That's very cute. Okay. And then you get a random member sticker and I got Young because is it a Haley Cravity unboxing without a Young? Absolutely not. And then you get a four cut photo and I got Young again. Also not a big surprise. You get a little like film slide and I got Wonjin. That's the back. This is the front. Oh wait, let's do the back of this. Okay. There we go, there's Wanjin. Okay, cute. And then you get two photo cards. One is a unit and one is a regular. So the green back one is the unit. And I got Alan and Hyongjun. Very cute. And then you get this white back one is the member specific. And I got Minnie, who I don't really pull much of. So that's really adorable again. And then the next one I have is B2B's third album, Be Together. Um, I have the blue version, so it's the B Blue version. And the back's spine. This one looks like a book. It's magnetized. And I'm going to pull. Where's my random things? I put them behind here. Okay. Okay. So, first, here's the CD. It's in here. Beautiful, beautiful CD. Oh. It's upside down. There we go. Very beautiful. Okay. And then this I thought was really cute. It is like a stationery. So like these papers are here. And they say be together. And then there's an envelope. And then you get the lyric postcard. So we have intro, the song, this one, Bomi, Biana, Uri, Be Together, My Way, Six is Whiskey, Interlude, Lonely, Jump, Dance With Me, Higher, Thank You, Julia Bone, and then the lyrics are on the back, I forgot to say that, and then 13 is the outro encore, and then the credits on the back there, so those, I thought that was really cute, not in there. Little addition. We'll go quickly through the 
photo book here. Then I'll go ahead. Bong. Oh, the cute bag. I love this pink sweater on him. It's so adorable. Pinyak. This like pastel coloring is a gift. A gift. Tons of yellow. It's like a yellowy green. Minty? I don't even know what color you would consider that. And suck. So nice sweater. Got all colors, the blue, green, and the white. Well, cute. And Peniel, you know, white sweater. And someday and has like white and pink with his yellow shoes. Gotta be back some colors. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Love is blue. When everything turns blue, we will be together. Very cute. Okay. And then the random things. I'm gonna pull them out one at a time. So we have this big postcard here and it is Minyak. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. Zoom out. Nope, that's the wrong way. Okay, Minyak. And then we have a clear bookmark thing. And it is Chunk Sub. He's kind of covered by this flower here. And then the photo card I got is Nguang. So you wouldn't even know that this is a not a B, uh, B2B for you album because I got all the members from B2B for you. And that's usually how it was with the B2B for you albums. I pulled like one of everybody except for one member because you only pull three things. So, so that's fun. And then the last one, I got double of the same one. So we'll just flip through one. This is Wano's Obsession. I got version two um, because I put it in my cart and then I accidentally put it in my cart again and tried to change it before I placed my order and I guess it didn't go through. Like I tried to change the quantity. Um, so then I ended up with two and I asked Sub K if I could cancel it like just cancel the one item and they said they could if I canceled the whole order then I could reorder it and I didn't want to do that I'm just gonna quick flip through this is the version I was worried about having two of the same version because I'm gonna be able to use the same cards um I was really nervous about that but I do have two roommates who also stand out so I was like if I believe that some cards they have it um that's my plan. Here's his birthday. This is a purple frilly shirt. Yeah, hold on. Wait one second. I'm just finishing filming this. Squeaky bunny. Very cute, though. He's a Wisconsin t-shirt on. I just can't. Lyrics page. See, very red. Birthday cake photo. Three postcards. Three. And then cake bookmark. Photo slide. Oh, that's red. I need something white. Well, photo slide. There's that one. And you get a message card. I got this really cute one. You can't even see it. Okay. And then this is the regular photo card. Football. Wano. And then I'm gonna quick open this one. Same postcards, obviously. Same bookmark. Different photo slide. Different message card. This one is bunny. No, this, yeah, bunny. And then different photo card. Very cute, very cute. Hi everyone and welcome to another clip in my April unboxing haul. Um, I'm wearing my dragon onesie today because it's freezing and it is raining outside. Um, but this morning before it started raining, my roommates and I, we all went to um, a town in Minnesota called Stillwater, um, which isn't terribly far from us, but it's like just far enough that we don't get to go very often. And they have this cute little like main street, main street area where there's like a bunch of shops and we didn't realize most of them were closed on Tuesdays, um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So we didn't get to go to very many, but we went to a couple shops and we went to 
there was a couple bookstores across the street from each other, but we went to this bookstore. Um, I don't know if the name is on it. Doesn't seem like the name of the bookstore is on it. Um, might be on the receipt though. Did she put it in? Yeah. It is the boo boo boo. What are you called here? The Valley Bookseller is where we went. Um, and they had a not very large, like not a very big space for young adult books, but it was very like full of a lot of really good books. Um, I did only buy two books. I bought one adult and one young adult. So I'll do my young adult one first. Um, I bought Six, Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth R Lim. Um, this is a book that I actually have been like looking at recently. Um, I've seen it around BookTube and talk a little bit. Um, it seems really good. And my roommate actually picked it up and was like, here, read this because um, they also want to read it. Um, so they wanted me to buy it so they could read it after. So I have that one. I believe Elizabeth Lim has written... Yeah, she has written some of the um, books for the Twisted Tales. Um, so that's why it's very... So that's why her name is familiar. So that's that one. And then the other one I bought was an adult book. And it was in the mystery thriller one. And it's called Local Woman Missing by Mary Kubica. And I've actually read... Um, she has a book called Good Girl... It says The Good Girl, um, and I actually read that book, and I really enjoyed it. Um, and so I got this book because it just sounds really cool. It's like, Shelby Tebow goes missing, then Meredith Dickey and her six-year-old daughter Delilah vanish just blocks away from where Shelby was last seen. Striking fear into their once peaceful community, after an elusive search that yields more questions than answers, the case eventually goes cold. Now, 11 years later, Delilah shockingly returns. So the daughter comes back. So it's very interesting. Um, I'm really into true crime, so that's really cute. Um, but those are the only two things I bought, and then we all went to lunch. So that's what we did today. Um, yeah, but I do have a few things that are coming in the mail this week, so I'm really excited for that. So I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to go edit a video of mine right now um my actually edit my March did I say March in the studio it's April it's April right now um I'm gonna go edit my March unboxing haul since I have time um yeah but thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next clip hi everyone and welcome to another clip for my April unboxings um I have two packages here you can kind of tell they were both um, left out on our, they were out on our doorstep today, which like, it was raining, but like we have an awning, so like it shouldn't be aggressive, but where they left them, they like left them off to the side so that you could easily like just open the door and grab them, but then the side of the awning like dripped down and like landed right on them, so they were soaking wet. So you can kind of tell on this one that it wet because it had been out there the longest. And this one, this is the bottom and it's kind of dry now. But I'm going to open these because they're not as fun um, as the other thing. But these, I ordered some more of the, um, here let's look, the pockets for my A5 binders. Because when I ordered them, I originally ordered four little A5 binders because I wanted to see how they would work. Um, but I ran out of pockets. So I ordered more just two more packs of the um the one pockets I didn't realize that there was only three in here I ordered two more packs and then there's four po oh there's more here okay there's six okay and then there's six oh so I got 12 anyway then there's six of these so I got some two packs of those so I should have 12 total of these and then more of these so I can put more of my photo cards in there to make my binders a little smaller. Um, but speaking of that, I also got some more albums. So we're going to go ahead and open these up. These are from K-Pop Market 01, as you can tell from the Korean tape on the outside. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I think there's four in here, four albums. Three, just three in here. What is that big one? I don't remember. Um, hold on. I put, I used, oopsies, I used my scissors earlier, um, 
to cut up some boxes on my bed to bring out to the recycling. And I think they're somewhere. So, yeah, but I think they're somewhere in my bed. They're just wrapped up in my blankets. I have to find them, but I didn't want to spend the time because I wanted to open these. Um, so we have two Kingdom albums. I think I'm going to do a separate unboxing for these because I have both versions. Um, but this is part four, Dan. It looks like they finished theirs. So I'm wondering what they're going to do now um, with that anyway. So they have both versions of that. And then I have an old um, Everglow album. These are really hard to find. But I believe this is the one with... Um, Oh, with first on it. This says first on it. I wanted the, um, one of their other ones, but I don't think I could find that one. Not even on Mercari Japan. Um, and this is New East's Needle and Bubble. I finally have this, their final album. And then I got a random version of Glitch Mode. So I got this second version, which is after I watched an unboxing from Katie's. This is actually the one I wanted because it has, like, this is their theme. And then this, um, isn't stick stuck closed so anyway we're gonna go through this one first the everglow one first because it's an older album this is the front cover the back and the spine i didn't actually see a lot of unboxings of this oh my god she's loud sorry um when it originally came out like this single album one but i've seen some of the other groups but sorry the dogs are very loud. I don't know why they're so loud, but I think all the random things are in here, maybe? Oh, nope, they're here. Just kidding. Okay. I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah, I do know what that is. Okay. I was looking up, um, oh, well, I was looking up, um, random album specs, and so we'll put those over here. I think I got everything out of here. Nope, I didn't. Okay. Now I think I did. Okay, so we'll do a quick flip through of this. I think I remember all the numbers' names from last time. Jane and H. I think. Oh, is this just like a random member one? No, right? No, because she's on the end. EU? Yeah, on the EU. I remember I thought she was EU, but she's. I thought she was on the other. She's EU. Okay. I'm confused now. I don't remember the vocal, but I'm not thinking that. I don't remember. Hold on, my roommate's on the phone now. Come on, can you just for one second, maybe? Not be loud in here. I don't know. Looks like Eden was here. Is this Eden? This is Eden. Now I'm confused, okay? I'm still learning everything, so. That's Eden, though, for sure. I'm not on the for sure. And this is Shia. Is this Shia? I'm not sure that's on the. I don't actually know anymore. I'm lost. Sorry. I'm a little lost. Anyway, um, we'll look through this thing first, too. I don't know what this is over here. But. Oh, this is the lyric book, okay? Okay, and then this is the CD in here. Um, fun. And then you get two post. Oh, wait, they're back double sided. So then I have this one is Aisha. Oh, it's just the same on both sides. Okay, and then this one. Does it say who it is on it? No, of course not. Anyway, that's those. And then you get um, this like plastic thing, which is. Um, I do have these, um, which is like a, you can't even see it. You are supposed to like fold it and use it on your phone for your AR card, which is like this uh, group card here. I hope all of this was on screen. I was just watching my last one and like half of it was not on screen. So that's cool. Um, and then you do get two photo cards. So I got this back one, which I got EU, I think, right? Very cute. I think that's EU. And then I got this one, which is, there's one member whose name I can't remember, so I'll look it up and I will write her name below, but that's that one. And then I forgot to show, these were some of the K-Pop Market 01 freebies, um, so I'll show those right now. These are obviously from their last album because they usually do the most recent.
Are these the same? Like, okay, interesting. So it's the same person on both sides. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. So we're going to move that one off to the side. What should we do next? Should we do newest next? We'll do newest next, okay. Because theirs is the one that came out the next most recent. Okay. And then we have, so we have JR, Beckel. I have these um, freebies already too from the last couple times I've ordered from them. So, but we're going to open this. Um, there were some sites, I can't remember if it was like specific sites um, or where it was from that like their albums came really like damaged and like missing photo cards and stuff. I can already see, no that's the thing. I can see photo cards though so I think I have things in here. Um, but I'm going to zoom out just a little because this is a bigger album. Okay, push this button here. So I'm going to take all my random things out. Yep, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Fun. Make sure I got it all. I think I did. Okay. I'm going to flip through it kind of fast again. I've seen unboxings of this, um, but I haven't seen it in person. Um, JR is my bias in this. Oh, yeah, I remember because they were talking about the white pages and how, like, they really gave them, like, the bare minimum. Like, I love this skirt, though, on Erin. It's the bare minimum of what they could have done. The riding pants. Then, and his sweater. Like, these aesthetic photos are also nice, but, like, give us more of the boys. I do kind of like this, like, um, I don't know, it's giving me big, like, um, what time period am I thinking of? Like, Britain when, like, Bridgerton and, like, Jane Austen type Britain vibes with, like, the riding pants and the archery and the skirt. I guess more Scotlandy vibes because of the skirt. This is a different outfit, I think. Maybe not. Black and white. Some black and white photography here. Another, like, full blank page. I don't know. I'm a little bit sad for New East that this is what they got at the end of their time. This is such a cute picture of Beckel, though. Ugh. Like, I think it would have been really cool to, like, release, like, a bunch of, like, behind-the-scenes, like, never-before-seen photos, sort of. I think would have been really cool. Another blank page here. This is the thanks to. It's really small. Um, credits. All of that. Okay, we're gonna zoom in again. Okay, you get... I think this is just the lyric book. Yeah, nothing exciting here to see. We have, oh, I got JR's bookmark, so that's cool. Um, my very first newest album, um, I pulled JR and Minion, who are my top two biases, and then I, like, never pull him again after that. This, oh, okay, yep, yeah, that's right. I forgot this, too. The CD is just white, but very cute. Okay. And then I have a random member postcard. I saw who it was already. Mine is Becco, looking princely. I'm loving it. Regency era, that's the word I wanted. And then you get two photo cards. It does not say their names on the back, but we'll look at this one first. I pulled Minion. Cute. And then this one is Becco. Cute. I pull him a lot, actually. Very cute. Okay, there's that one. And then the last one for this video before I do the unboxing one is NCT's Glitch Mode. Oh, I do have some things here to show. So these are the K-Pop Market 01 freebies. Where's the opening? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Renjun, Chenla, Hichen. He looks very good this era. Jamin, Jeno, Jisung, and Mark. Okay. And then this, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, I think this is, um, it came with the Yes 24 pre-order benefit, which I think must be this. 
I was assuming it was a photo card, but I think this is like a sticker. It's like one of those like puffy stickers that I used to like be obsessed with when like we were kids. Anyone who's like my age, around my age. Um, yeah, this does say yes. Yes, said 24 on it. You can't see it, but that must be the pre-order for that. Okay, we'll go ahead and open this one. Oh yeah, forgot that the CD is not attached, so it's just here in this like plastic, but the other version I think had it sealed, so this one is interesting. Um, this is the back, front, and spine. I'm going to take all my goodies out here. Oh, that's a poster. Did I get them all? I think they all put them in the okay. We'll do a quick flip through, because I know there are also other unboxings there. This is well, it's very green. What's he doing? Now he's in a shopping cart. Why do shopping carts do a gas station? That's what I want to know. Like weird gold bars here. You need like a drive up window? Is this what like gas stations are in Korea? Like, do they have drive up windows? They have coaches in their gas stations? Or like, what is this? I do like how they did these. These are pretty cool. I think it's so funny that, like, as I'm just getting NCT, these, like, old-fashioned, like, arcade game, like, symbols and stuff, like, they don't even know what that is. That's a really good picture of Jimmo. Um, that's probably not safe. So, where are the cheese balls? On the ground? Oh, my gosh. Also, that card is going to explode. Or, no, this car, like, what even is this place where they are? Like, a gas station? What are they doing here? Anyway, I don't even know. But this is the poster here. Here's the top half. And the bottom half. I won't be able to show the whole thing because I don't have enough room for that. Stickers, very cute. Okay, this is like foldable postcards. Oh yeah, this side is like grainy. Very cute. The Geno one is like really grainy. And then flip it to the side and it's just their like regular photos. Mine's already starting to come apart right on Geno's. Um, but it's okay. Oh, I didn't show marks. Oh, because this is, that's his glitchy one. Okay, there we go. That's what happened. Okay, and then the SM ad here. Oh, what's that? Oh, the ticket. I got a first press album. That's fun. Um, because I did it, because the first press got the tickets, but not everybody did, so that's cool. Um, I'm going to choose this one without a signature on the back first. Oh, the Lenti. This is a Lenti. That's right. I got Hey Chan's Lenti. Yes what's the other photo okay I like that a lot and then um the next one is this one I don't know there <gasps> Jeno yes Jeno's my bias um but he tends to avoid me in things like this and then he's like if I ever I don't collect him but if I ever wanted to like buy something of his just to have it it's like super expensive but I tend to pull him if I buy like a Chenla specific thing so that's what that is um, so that is everything I got in that, so stay tuned for my next clip. Bye! Hi everyone, and welcome to another April unboxing clip. Um, as you can see here, I have about four packages. Um, three of them are from the same seller, um, and then this one is a different thing, and then this is from Sub K. Um, we're going to go through the big one first, because I ordered some things on Mercari um and first of all I want to show you this if you can see here um I ordered some like photo card things on Mercari and the first one here this person changed their name to um Min Hyuk Lee that's who sent me this package um and I opened it up I was like why is this so big and there's a Fatal Love album in here. And if you've been on this channel for a while, you know I have two versions of this album. I actually have this version, because this is version three, two, right? I have two and three of this album. And I was like, I did not order this. And then I panicked that I ordered the wrong thing. Well, then I opened it up. And what I ordered is in here. But, so this is just the Fatal Love album. It's this version, you know, Shonu's in here. All the members are in here. 
all the remaining six. Look at Jungwon's hair. Amazing. This was a good album. Love Killa album. Chef's Kiss. Beast Mode. Also good. Oh, the CD. I didn't need them. They also sent me Shonu's this and this. And I think I have... I know I have this for sure. I don't know if I have this. I know I have young ones, but I might also have this. So I might have two of these already. But they sent me this. But this is what I ordered. So they, but this person must have just had extra of these and shipped it because I ordered show new things. So let me show you what I ordered here. I was watching some unboxings of the Season's Greetings, Monster X's Season's Greetings. And I realized I didn't buy it because I didn't think Shoni was going to be in it. And then he was. And someone was actually selling the Sealed Seasons Greetings on Mercari. But I got four of them this year. And so I was like, do I really want the whole Seasons Greetings? And then I found someone just selling Shonu's things. So I got this um, like kind of clear, transparent film slide thing. I ordered all of his inclusions. And that's what they sent me. And then the postcard... And then the premiere ticket with Kian and Shonu. So Shoki is here. Super cute. And then the Ra the Horonghe photo card with the cute little drawing of a tiger on the back. It was so cute. I also debated buying um, um, Hyungwon's and I Am's version of this because last time I ordered Season's Greeting stuff. I got my top three biases, but I didn't, and I'm kind of glad I didn't because this person sent me an extra album, and I don't need three copies of this album. <laughs> the next thing is these three teal envelopes, and this one, no, which one are these? This one I opened already, so we'll go ahead and open this. Um, they're from the same seller, but they were selling them in different listings, um, but speaking of season's greetings, I also like resealed this because I wanted to show you the cute packaging. But I, open, I only opened one of these because I assumed they had wrapped everything the exact same because all the packages were the same and the contents are the same just for different members. So, spoiler alert. Um, but this is... There's lots of things in here, actually. It says, thanks so much for your order. Check back and follow for more 17 goodies. So that's a spoiler here. And that's their name... I believe on Mercari that was their name. Like the American Mercari, not the Japanese Mercari. And they sent me this like 17 sticker, which I can put on my water bottle. I got this June freebie with a group on the back. I'm assuming this is their Etsy shop proximity, their rock, crystal, and mineral specimens and more. So that's cool. So either these are people they know or this is this person's. Tova, multimedia artist. I'll plug that person as well. And then there's a Power of Love freebie with all the members on it. I'm not sure why they're like stacked like this, but I don't know. And then I open it up and there are these two June cards. So we'll open this up. This is his set of things from the 17 seasons greetings i love this hollow sleeve i might put stuff in here i've debated getting sleeves for my cards but i have so many that i'm like i don't know if i want to um so here's his little like id cards they weren't cut pre-cut and then here's his photo card Anyway, and then this is his large card here. I might just have to cut it. I'm not sure. It's very well packaged, though, and I did rate the seller for that. Which is why I opened one package, but not all of them, because I wanted to open some on camera. And then here is his, oh, I keep sniffling, sorry. Here's his large card with his message on the back. 
Happy Every Day. Cute. Okay. Let's see. I don't know which one is which. That was package 51. This is package 52. And this is package 53. So we'll just pull them all out. Because again, they're wrapped exactly the same. I don't remember which one I clicked purchase on. Um, so my top, my top like five ranking in um, 17 has been changing a lot, but my top one is right now, right now my top one is Jongun, Vernon, June, Wanu, Joshua, Dino, which is my top six right now, with the eight also tied with Dino. Um, and so the first one I got is, here's their little business card again. And there is a Wanu freebie, so you know who that is. Here's their proximity, their other one. Here's an Attacka sticker. And a group photo card from Semicolon, very cute. And then here is Wanu's equivalents. So here is Wanu and his little two cut thing. And then his large card, I'm just gonna leave it in here for now, but that's his large card on the front. Oh, maybe I should take it off the cardboard so we can at least see his message on the back. Um, I got Wanu because I Vernon's was sold out. This person did not have Vernon's. Here's his message on the back. But I'll take him out in a little bit. But this person did not have Vernon's for sale anymore. And I couldn't find any other ones that were selling the 2022 season's greetings. Like some of them were selling the older ones. They were actually selling the 2020 season's greetings, which I do have. Um, my top my top four of those I have Vernon, Jongan, June, and Wanu's of those. But I, since I already have them, I didn't need another set. Um, so I just bought my top three that were available. So we saw June and Wanu. So spoiler alert: this one is Jongan. This is also from Power of Love. Here is a Your Choice group cards. And I have group cards from the last three eras, so that's cool. Here is their business card, this proximity, and the Tova card again, and then this is a Aju Nice cassette tape sticker. Anyway, and then we have Jong-un's equivalents here. I love these, like, hollow sleeves. Although these are quite thin, so maybe I should just get some hollow sleeves. Oh, I pulled it out of the hollow sleeve. But here is jong -un, and here is his little ID cards. Very cute. And here is his large card. They really taped up this one a lot more. And then this is his... Uh, message. Cute. Hey, I have something else poten potentially arriving tomorrow. So that'll be fun. This is packed up. And then we'll open this box up. And this is something I think I talked about in my unboxing of the other one, the other version. But I wasn't sure if I was going to do this, and then I caved one day as I was looking for things. Where is the opening? There it is. Um, for Gravity, I have purchased all versions of their albums from debut up till now, and then I wasn't going to for this new era, like the, the not like chapter one stuff, but I did end up doing it for their first album part one and technically this is their first album part two so I thought it only fair to do it for this one as well let me oh 
so confused. I equal parts hate and love that they use this like sticky bubble tape, bubble wrap. I love it because it like extra protects all my things. And sometimes it's easy to get off. But other times, like now, it's really difficult to get off. Okay. <gasps> this sticker is cute. So they usually give you a sticker and the sub K postcard, and you're supposed to take a picture with um, post a photo or video of your sub K shop or purchase with the sub K sticker on your Twitter, Instagram feed, or TikTok. And then share it there. And you can win stuff. And I've done it like one time, but I haven't actually won anything because I don't do it very often. Um, I think this one comes first. So I bought the other two versions. So I have the green version, which is the Cosmos version. Um, but it goes, I believe it goes Liberty, Adrenaline, and then Cosmos cover. Yeah, the random things are here. So here is the, the photo book. We'll zoom in a little bit and do a quick look through. This hair looks really good on him. Okay. And then I won't take all the random things because I don't want to see. This is the track list here. Uh, CD, what does it say underneath here? Oh, it just is the type, the album name. Okay. I am only going to show this poster because I watched another unboxing and I didn't realize this actually. But the back has messages on it. So that was really cute. I didn't notice that when I opened the poster up the first time when my first version and then we're gonna look at my random member stickers and I got Woobin I always pull Woobin and Taeyong and I got Taeyong stickers in my last one so I'm not surprised and I got Jungmo's four cut card here I think I have Wanjins already I got Wanjins here but I think that's who I pulled last time I can't remember and then this one is the unit card, the blue one, and that is Jungmo and Taeyang. Cute. I didn't get this pairing last time. And then I have Songmin, also very cute. I pull him a lot as well. So very cute. There's that version. Is the original version, the yellow version. This is the photo from the poster, just smaller. So there's that. I'm going to this up. There's a little bit. So you can see the whole There we go. Okay. Random things right here. Move that aside. I'm going to do a quick flip through. Stop looking at my shirt. That's so cute. That's such a cute one. Okay. Um. It's so very cute. This is Alan and Sons. I love this, like, family photo here that's happening. Oh, this one's so cute, though. People are wearing a black. Also, I just don't look like the oldest. At least definitely not. Orange in. Cute. I'm not sure how I feel about this like nice shirt under a sweater over sweatpants. pants. Me. Mm -hmm. I can't tell what this shirt says. Maybe that's like set on for love some care. Looks so cute. Move in. These are so cute. I wonder if they're having a great time. This is so funny. This looks like this like old like class photos where you would like send them either with your class and do pictures. I don't think I can do those anymore. I don't know if they do other schools. Here is the lyric book. We'll go through it quick because the pictures are different. Oh, so cute. I was going to say, are they all bling? Think while it's still legal. Oh, okay. Rebel. 
very cute, very cute. Here's the CD. There's nothing under there other than their logo. Here is the poster. Again, it's the same poster, same messages on the back. Ah. My random member... Whoop. My random member sticker is... Whoopin' again. So I got a dupe, unfortunately. I always do every big inclusion for Cravity. Like, there's nine members. You'd think I'd pull something different. My four cut is Alan. So I didn't get a dupe of this, which is nice. This little guy is... Oh, Serum! Cute. Serum is my second bias. You can't see him. He's blurry. There he is. Very cute. And then this is the unit card here. And it is... Oh, Serum and Mini! Oh, precious. They're so cute. And then my photo card is Alan. Very cute, very cute. All right, that was everything that I got in this unboxing today. Um, stay tuned for another unboxing tomorrow, probably, for sure, by Wednesday. But I'm pretty sure tomorrow I'll have one, too. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi everyone and welcome to another clip. This is the package I mentioned in the last clip that I was waiting for to be delivered today. Um, as you can see, it is a Line Friends thing. Um, there's the official Line Friends sticker right here. But it is a wireless charger, a BT21 wireless charger, and it's RJ because RJ is my favorite of the characters. Um, it was wrapped much better than this, but I've already taken it out and looked through it. Um, but it comes with the cord. Um, and then it comes with the charger itself. It's like, it has a little RJ on the top. It's very cute. It is a stand. Um, I have a wireless charger currently, or I had one. Um, but I accidentally set a, um a drink on top of it once and put a bunch I think I put a bunch of stuff on top of it like it was a flat one like it just laid down flat and I put some stuff on top of it and I think it just like got sweat like wetted like wet and now it doesn't work so I bought this a while ago like right before Christmas and I really wanted it so now I have it this is like cushiony to protect your phone um this is like the charging part and here is RJ let me just get my phone so I can charge my phone either this way, like standing up, I could charge it. And it holds a good height here, um, like that. Or I could charge it like this down here. Um, it won't, it's not charging right now because it's not plugged in because I don't have a plug-in over here, but you would just plug it in in the back here, right there. And then plug this into your wall um, it doesn't have like an end, like a wall end, so you probably have to get one if you wanted to. Um, one of my chargers has it. And then you just put your little phone on here and it charges. Oops, backwards, it would go this way, but very cute. I'm going to go hook him up right now and use it because my phone, I don't know if you can tell. Oh. My battery's at 16%. Oh, there we go. The battery's at 16%, so I'm going to have to go charge it. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another clip for my um, April unboxing. I'm. This would generally be the last clip because it is the 29th of April, but I do have a package that was supposedly delivered on the 27th. Um, that is somehow not at my house where it needs to be, so I'm not sure where it is. Um, and then I have another package that my mom picked up for me on the 27th <laughs> that has been at the post office for several weeks. And uh, yeah, so that's fun. So I will hopefully open those early next week. So it'll technically be opening them in May, but they both should have arrived in April. Um, hopefully I find that one that's somehow missing. Um, but anyway, I have two books here, or three things here to unbox, this big thing, and then these two books. 
So I want to show you this first one. Um, I was very excited about this is the Scum Villain Self Saving System. Um, Renja Fun Pai Shishu Shikong, um, Volume 2, uh, by Mo Sheng Tong Shu. Uh, I was very excited to receive this. It actually came out on the last week Tuesday, which would have been the like 19th, maybe something like that. Came out on that day, and then they had shipped it the Sunday previous, Barnes and Noble did, and then I was not supposed to get it till last Friday. And then it didn't actually show up until Saturday, so I was already annoyed because I was like, why does it take so long when I can literally go to Barnes and Noble and pick it up <coughs> on Tuesday? So that was annoying, but I got it. I read it in a night, like on Monday morning I had it done um, and brought it to my friend to read, so I read it all day Sunday. Um, stayed up way too late reading it, uh, but my friend has finished it now, so I brought this. And then this other book, also something I'm very excited about, this is Zachary Ying and the Dragon Emperor um, by Shiran J. Zhao, um, the same author as Iron Widow. Um, this is their middle grade book. It is, what? how did they describe it? It's like a Yu-Gi-Oh something, something, I can't even remember. Um, but their photo is a cosplay, so that's really cute. Um, but there's like Chinese history and culture and um, involved, and so that's really cool. So I'm really excited to read this. I'm currently reading a book right now. Um, and then I'm going to read this one next because I'm so excited about it. And then this last one is a beast of a box, so I'm going to zoom out again. Um, this is, as you can see, a BTS box. I know I've talked in a previous video about um, I joined the BTS membership in July um, of 2022. No, July of 2021. And I ordered, they had some merch box for sale, merch boxes for sale. I believe this was merch box two, I think. Um, and I ordered it and they are shipping them out at random intervals. So they shipped this one out like this week or the or end of last week and so I finally got it but I ordered this back in July um, they do this thing with your membership you every quarter they release a new merch box and you can get it for free but you pay $15 for shipping um, I don't know if it's 15 everywhere or if that's just like because of where I live I don't know um, but it's $15 for shipping and so you just pay for shipping and the items in here are usually worth more than $15 so it's worth it um, but yeah, this is this one, and this, oh, this is number five, excuse me, merch box number five. This is the contents in it, um, so I'm going to keep it nearby me, so I can tell you what it is. Um, I did already look through most of the stuff, um, but I didn't look through the big item, so this is the big item. There's like one big item and some smaller items that like relate to it. There was one where I was going to get this like poncho blanket, and I didn't, um, and I kind of regret that. I feel like I should have. Um, anyway, so the first item that is in here is this. Oopsies, I bumped the camera. This is mini luggage, as you can see. I'm going to take the plastic off because I haven't actually looked inside of it yet. Did I really need this? No. So there's a strap here on the back, um, a strap here on the top. But this is probably to like put over your suitcase, probably. Um, like your wheelie suitcase, and this is the strap on the top, that's cool. And then there is a zipper, oh there's two zippers here, how does this work? Oh, there's like a zipper cover, that's fancy, so it covers up both zippers so you can't undo it. Um, there's the little BTS symbol here, I can take the plastic off, I don't need to right now though. And then it says BTS on one side, I'm not doing a good job of showing this anyway. And then it says ARMY on this side, upside down. There's no symbol on the back, but this is this one. Oh, and the little zippers have the little BTS logo. Very cute. And then on the inside, there is... Oh, fun. There's a... Um, it's like the airplanes, and the airplanes say BTS in them. And then there's a zipper pouch here which also has a, this protector in it, and these do not eat things, 
What's that for? Oh, this is just the tag. Okay. Fancy, fancy, fancy schmancy. So it's just this, but it's kind of hard, so it like doesn't really like this doesn't really collapse on itself, which is nice. Okay, there's that. And then there's this little box of goodies here. The box. Um there's lots of stuff in here. So one of the things that is in here is a name tag. I think is this I thought it was like a passport cover I mean it still could be but I'm assuming or is this a name tag? the name tag okay that's what this is so this is the name tag is BTS on the front and then in the back you put all your information so like the army and there's an airplane symbol and you would write your name and that kind of stuff on here and then you would obviously like put it through the hole this way and attach it to your luggage like that so that way you would have a luggage tag so that's pretty pretty fancy okay and then there is a passport holder here I have one I made for myself but this one's also kind of cool And then there is some deco stickers here. Do I want to take them out? I kind of do. So there's like a little Polaroid camera, journey, a little like pixelated heart with the BTS symbol. There's a BTS van, cute. There's the army symbol. And the BTS symbol in purple and in orange. And then there's, oh, there's some airplanes. So we have a blue, an orange BTS airplane, a like orangey army airplane, and then there's a BTS star. Very nice. Those are some cute stickers. And then there is a, where is it? Oh, was it under here? Ah, it's wrapped in here. There's a magnetic puzzle, they called it. Why is it a puzzle? I'm worried that if I take it out, the pieces are going to fall on. But... Oh, because the pieces punch out. This is really thick. This is a BTS magnet here. So I'm going to put that on our fridge. Okay. And then there is some photo cards they said, but I'll open those last. But then this is a travel pouch and it is small and medium. Which I also thought was really cool because soon I'll get to travel again. There's a small one here. And does it cinch? No, it doesn't. Oh, it does cinch. Oh, it does cinch. Okay, so you can cinch it up like this to hold your things in that you don't want to get like jostled around in your carry-on. And then there's a medium version here. Kind of keep your stuff in, and both would fit in your carrying case. Both would fit in here. It's zoomed into them, so it's really hard to see, but anyway. Bleh. And then we will do the most important part, not the most important part, but the really fun part, the photo card bit. Um, so we have RM. Let's RM. Gin, just drinking some milk. Is that milk? I don't even know what that is. They all look like this in the back. Yoongi. J-Hope. Jimin on a business phone call. 
don't know why I keep shading the back. It's V. And Jungu. And that was everything I got in this clip, and I will see you in my next clip, which is hopefully soon. Bye! Hello, everyone, and welcome to my final clip of my April haul. Um, technically, today is May 1st, but I didn't end up uh, finishing my April haul. And this box that's under here arrived um, a couple weeks ago. And I had my mom pick it up from the post office, so I technically wanted to include it in this. Um, I'm still currently missing a package, which hopefully will arrive soon. My roommate and I went to Target, and there is nothing new really that came out. Um, but I wanted this one because it's like the outside water concept, and we both were going to get one. Um, but then the other two... This one was fully sealed, and then one of them ha was slightly ripped, but it felt like there might have still been inclusions in it, and then the other one was, like, fully ripped, so I'm pretty sure there was no photo cards in it, so I'm a little disappointed in that, but we were going to both get one, and then if that one that was slightly ripped ended up with no photo cards, we were going to share, uh, and then uh, my roommate ended up not getting one. So I got this one, but I did say if I pulled their bias, I would give it to them. Um, and I didn't, but here is the version. Um, I got the performance version. So I got Hoshi June, the 8, and Dino. Um, my bias in this group is June, but also, like, all of them are amazing. Um, my favorite photo is, let me find it, is this one because no it's not this one it's this one no where are you this one because of the eyes so the eyes in this are intense that's my favorite one um but there's a lot of really cute photos in here of all the members the eight also has a like a long photo where i was like okay sir go off where is it this one um yeah and then I'll just show you the random inclusions. So my like clear file thing is Jong An. Here we go. Let's put him back here. We got Jong An here, which is very cute. Um, I think I pulled Wooji and Wanu for my other two, so that's nice that I don't have the same one. Um, and then my poster is the performance team poster. I'm pretty sure I have this one already. Um, because I think I pulled, or the, yeah, the performance team poster. I think I pulled all the posters. I don't think I pulled a um, hip-hop unit, but there's that. And then let me take all my, I put all my random inclusions in the CD pouch because I didn't want them to fall out. But here's the CD. This came out a while ago, so everything, seen it. Um, our Target has a habit of not having things on release day, so I want to go see on actual release day, but we'll see, we'll see. My two postcards are, I got the vocal unit, which I think I have this one already, or I have this in poster form, I can't remember. And then um, I have my member one, I got Mingyu. I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. And then at least this is gonna be different. I have Wuji, and I think I have Joshua and Wanu for these, I think. Um, and then I have the two photo cards plus the Target exclusive photo card. So we'll go with this one first. I have S. Coops. Very cute. And then we have number 35 is Hoshi. Sorry, I have an alarm that's going off. And then the Target exclusive number 82 is June. This one, he like kind of fell out. When I was on, I was opening it, opening it in uh, my roommate's car, and I thought it was Wanu at first, and I was like, "Uh oh, I'm gonna have to give this to you," but it wasn't. So there is that. And this next one is, I probably could do another unboxing with just this, but I don't really want to. From Japan Post, this came from Baiyi, and this one was the one that my mom had to go pick up at the post office because they wouldn't release it without a signature and they didn't deliver it where I, when I told them to and then they wanted uh then they they 
close before I get off work, so. Or, like, by the time I get off work and get there. So these are, this one is thick, so I think that is an album. I don't remember what's in this package, actually. I also have a Neokio one that I ordered some stuff in, but I just today paid for that to be shipped, so. I'm gonna rip these envelopes. Sorry. Um. Aha! Yes. There's a couple cards that I have, like, dupes of. Like, I have a Kai from Super M card, and, um, an Alan from Cravity, like, dupes that I just never traded because I wasn't in the mood at the time. Um. And so then I was, like, looking for ones to replace them. And so I found some stuff here, I think. Um, usually. That's how that works. Um, so it came with a lot of things. So this was from their band, Cravity. They told me what it was from. I forgot, though. Um, but this little postcard here. Some, like, fan con thing, I think. And this came from the same. It's, like, Ticket. Okay, that's set up. And then this came from their Vidi High School or something. Some other fan merch. Oh, the same thing from that. Um, so this is like an ID card. It's like almost like transparent. And then this is from the same thing, I think. And then this is his photo card from that. And then this is what... I was originally looking for, I was looking for Hyung Joon's because I don't have him and he's my bias. Um, but Sedum is my second bias, so I found this one. Um, so I think I might sell Allen's on the American Mercari and see if anyone will buy it. Um, because it's been a while since this has been posted, but, so I got all of those. Let's look here. I know my one from Neokio has an album also coming, so we'll see. Ah, yes. So I have an extra one of these arrival access cards for Mark, and it fit the way I have it in my binder. It like fits fine. It fits perfectly. Um, but I didn't need two Marks, and so I bought Shotoro. Um, I was just looking to see who they had for NCT, and they didn't have a lot of options. Um, but Shotoro is my Japanese son. Um, there were a lot of like when Sung Chan and Shotoro were were. Joined, there was a lot of people who wanted to collect Sung Chan, but not as many that wanted to collect Shotaro that I saw. Um, so I bought his. It was pretty cheap price, but I like this a lot, so I'm excited to have him. Let's open this one now. Hello? Come on inside, okay? And then this is, ah, yes, I have some very, very cards. I have a page in my binder that has Vix and very, very cards. Um, oh, yeah, I think I know what that is. And this is my very, very bias is Dongyan. Hello? I tried to open every single side except for this side, but this is the side that opens. Um, and so this is from Face You which I believe is the other album that I really liked of theirs, but this is so cute. Um, it's Dongyan here. Very cute. So I have that one to kind of just add to that page. Um, and then I have this as like a thicker one. I think I remember what this is now. Let me This is what I thought it was after. And so I bought this. This is one of their Japanese albums. So let's open it up here. Or is it a DVD? I don't remember actually. I think it's just a CD. It's just got one track on it, Moonlight. The outer the box for it here. It's like a DVD type box. And then there is 
Yep, that came with it. Okay, so then there's like a cute little photo book we'll go through really fast. Can we see? So here's the six members. Look, this looks kind of recent. I mean, not, not recent, recent, but like, like they look older in this. And like they don't look like babies. I mean, Leo does. Leo doesn't age. And Ravi doesn't really seem like he's aged much. But like, Hyuk, this is the story of Hyuk. He looks older in this. And Ravi, and Ken, and N, and Leo, forehead Leo, and Hongbin. Look at those glasses. Go your own way, believe in yourself. It's all very cute. Oh, they have two songs. Hanukaze and Moonlight. this have like the year so this was 2016 so it wasn't terribly recent it's the ad thing starlight japan official ad, um, fan club and then this is the photo card that came with it and i bought it specifically for n's photo card Oop. he's blurry because n is my bias so i bought it for that cute little flower photo card that was that. This is going to be my last clip of April and hopefully my other package, it's closed. Hopefully it shows up soon. Um, thank you so very much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite thing was that you bought in the month of April. And make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!